What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Rabbit Mind YouTube channel. And HiveOS officially releases T Rex 0.26.1 beta. There's a few things you got to manually select this once you update, as well as MB Miner 41.3. So we're going to upgrade and check these out. Uh, some people have been having stability issues, but as you can see here, I'm still running MB Miner version 41, and I have an uptime of 12 hours and one minute. I have not lost any types of hash rates. I am running my efficient settings. You can see here 47.5 mega hash, 47.24 mega hash on these two version two 3060 LHR GPUs, and we're running about 112 watts at the wall per GPU. So this is a nice efficient setting. We're gonna update HiveOS though, and see you know if we have an improved in hash rate or not, or if things actually remain stable. So let's take a quick look at the update itself, go through it just in case there is something we probably have to know, cause we don't wanna miss anything and then everything gets messed up. So NB minor version 41.3, Improved ethash, LHR, unlock stability, fixed crash on AMD GPUs, and improved compatibility on rigs with small system memory. So that's actually kind of interesting about the low amount of memory. Uh, T-Rex version 0.26.1 beta introduced LHR 100% unlock except for 3080 12 gigabyte GPUs and the 3050, which are allegedly LHR version 3. Nothing works with those yet. Uh, it looks like F plus Alephium should also work. Notes, this is just test version to test if you need to select version 0.26.1 in the minor setting. So that's kind of what I was touching up on earlier, where instead of just using the latest version from upgrading, we are going to have to actually manually select the latest version and, you know, to get that to work. So we're going to run through that, but we're going to update right now. So we're going to force upgrade, reboot after complete, and then hit the upgrade button. Let's see if we hit any errors or not. Remember, Hive OS for the past three days has been very, very congested. Things are very slow. Drivers aren't updating. I tried downloading the latest stable version last night and it said it was going to take over a day and then it just failed. So, you know, let's just hang in there and hopefully things work out. So Hive OS is now officially updated. I have no more upgrade symbols. We can see MB Miner version 41.3 automatically kicked in once the rig did reboot. I just want to make sure what the current latest versions are. I went over to the MB Miner GitHub. I can confirm 41.3 is the latest. And if we check out T-Rex Discord, their latest beta version is 26.1. So Hive OS has all the latest versions here. So you don't have to do any more fancy command prompts running in the run commands to overwrite files that don't exist yet. Everything is pre-built in the Hive OS. So simplest way to update to these is simply updating Hive OS like you saw me do, or you can go to the very top here, upgrade or downgrade, and then select the version. Obviously we are on the latest version, so there's nothing we can do unless we want to go down a few downgrades. One thing I am noticing with the latest MB miner is I'm actually down to 241 watts at the wall on these two GPUs. Now my system is 22 watts. I take that away, divide it by two. I'm about 109.5 watts at the wall per GPU. And some of you guys may be saying, but that's not correct. It is 100% correct. We looked at it in live streams with a single GPU. And when I put in that second GPU, the numbers matched up identical. So I can say for sure, we're at about 109 watts right now per GPU. That's pretty good for a 3060 coming in at 47.5 to 47.25 mega hash. All right, so now I'm going to try T-Rex Miner. And remember, we have to manually select the latest version, not just pick the latest in, uh, according to their documents. But we're just going to go with the latest and see what happens. But just to confirm what we're talking about, we're at our flight sheet with T-Rex here. We're going to edit that. And right now we're on the latest, but it wants us to manually select it right here. I'm going to stay on the latest and see what happens. So I'm just going to cancel this because we are already on it. Go back into my test bench right down here. And then let's select that flight sheet and see what happens. I lost it. Here it is. T-Rex latest engage. See what version actually pops up for us. So close all this out. Go to our overview. 
and wait for some hashes to start hashing. So the miner just started and we can see we're on version 26 because we did the command from the other day. It does not automatically go to that latest version. So just like they said, you got to manually select it. I just wanted to make sure if this was legit or not. So, you know, we have to try it out. So let's go into our edit here. We're going to go pick this and we're going to go down and pick 26.1. We're going to apply those changes, update, apply to the workers, and now we should be on the latest version. Okay, so manually selecting it does work just like the instruction said. So what did we learn here? Always follow instructions. But we like to try things other ways first just to make sure, you know, things are as, things are as they seem. But you can see 0 0.26.1. So we do have the latest version of T-Rex running right now. So it's been a few minutes and nothing really happened yet. So I SSH'd in and it looks like it's trying to download the files for the latest T-Rex. Things are extremely slow, so this could take some time. We're probably going to see an error or two, but just keep on trying and it will work. So the latest T-Rex is now working. It took about 10 minutes to finally update everything, but I am seeing a slight decrease in my hash rate and a slight increase in power at the wall. Only an extra watt water too, so nothing major, but our hash rate doesn't seem to be on par. I'm just gonna hit the refresh button. And yeah, we're, we're not doing as good as we were seeing in MB minor. Uh, some other notes I wanna point out there is it looks like the latest T-Rex is crashing some 3070s full hash rates and other cards and it looks like mb minor people are noticing a little more stability so you know do it your own risk currently i'm probably going to run mb minor myself until t-rex you know gets everything figured out in the end i will be utilizing t-rex i love t-rex but it is looking like nb minor is the current most stable lhr unlocker to run currently all right guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video pretty much a quick sum up hive os officially dropped the latest mb minor as well as t-rex minor in just a straight out update makes it really easy to utilize and use these miners unlike the previous ways we were seeing the other day before now also keep in mind it is looking like mb miner is a little more stable and using a little bit less power than the latest t-rex miner so i would recommend that minor but really test it let us know your feedback let me know in the comments what you're running what cards you're running on join the discord if you haven't yet and be sure to hit that subscribe button thumbs up and bell notification i will see you on the next one rabbit out thank you for watching my video and if you haven't seen one of these be sure to check them out and if you already seen them maybe you missed some might have to watch it one more time and if you just let it play in the background that's all right as well. I do try to live stream every weekend as well as every couple days during the week. So be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss that. As always, have a great day.